Next up, Sabina calling in from San Diego, California. You're up. Hi, Peter. This is, yeah, hi. Um, speaking of a uh, war on young people and a war on drugs, I'm in a bit of a war at home with my husband because he thinks I'm crazy. I, I believe in your vision, the housing bubble, the economic uh, situation. I agree with what you say, and he completely disagrees. So he's, he's kind of put an ultimatum on me. We have to buy a house. We have about $300,000 liquid, and um, I, I have to do it. So under in san diego real estate it's insane like um and so i just wanted your advice if you had to buy a house there's a gun to your yeah. head under well what? i wouldn't want to buy one in san diego you guys should move to another state but if you actually have to buy one you know, just buy an inexpensive house. Don't buy the, you know, try to buy, you know, a, a modest house and try to put as little down as possible uh, so that you can max out your, your loan uh, at these low rates. And then hopefully you won't have to put the entire 300000 into an overvalued piece of San Diego real estate. And maybe you'll have some money left over to invest in things that you believe in because it should be a compromise. See, normally it's the other way around. Normally it's, it's the men that are more rational and the women that want to buy a house. In this case, uh, you're the one that's thinking clearly and your husband drunk to Kool-Aid, but maybe if you can compromise and take some of that money and maybe call up Euro Pacific Capital and, and get it invested internationally, uh, maybe take advantage of the drop in precious metals, get a little gold, and then you can have a, a more, uh, uh, a better compromise. But hey, I wish you luck, uh, Sabina, in what you do. This is the end of the show, everybody. You've been listening to the Peter